Hey Legends, Dirk Schulten here and we are ready for a very interesting qualifying session from last year's Carrera Cup season. It was at the Red Bull Ring and it was raining, but then eventually the track was drying. Everyone went out on slicks at the end. A very interesting session and I'm gonna take you along. So coming out of the pits and <laughs> big snap. Uh, the first thing we want to do is obviously get some heat in the tires. So we do that by applying throttle and brake. But it's very difficult in these conditions. So what I'm essentially doing is, is brake, throttle and then also start weaving. Some of these guys are already overtaking me. I'm taking it quite careful, uh, but I should be a lot more aggressive. But it could be that they are on the wet tire, I think so, because the slicks are doing absolutely nothing. So we're going downhill and brake quite early, but you see it. <laughs> There's absolutely no grip. Everyone is like struggling like crazy. It's such a weird feeling how the car behaves on cold slicks. It's like driving on ice. And you can see it in the corrections I'm, I'm having. So there's a code red, uh, so we have to box now. We're gonna enter the pits uh, and then see what the team wants. We're going out again, still on slicks. Uh, we haven't really set the time yet. So at the pit stop we changed tire pressures and we got a little bit more tire pressure to get more heat in the tires because it's really hard to warm these tires up in these conditions. Someone is standing still. Yeah, this could be a code red. Yeah, it's a code red. So we have to go in again. Here we're standing still at the team and we are deciding what to do. Um, so we are going for wet tires now because yeah, the, the slicks are not working at all in these conditions. And we have to at least set a proper time in, in Q1. So save the slicks for, um, for later because later on the track will dry and then we have some proper slicks left. So we are going out on the wet tire and everyone is going out right now. Like I still don't know whether the, the guys in front are on slicks or on wets, uh, I'm not sure. So you can see the tire press, they are saying 6.3 overall, but that's not true. That's a faulty sensor. And now we're just going forward because we have to set the time. And with the wet tire, you can push quite hard in the beginning. Now I have the confidence to brake. I think for now this was the right call from the team. We are still driving a bit offline uh, on the wet patches to not destroy the tires. So we're 
just slowly building it up, getting ready for the first push lap. And I think the car in front is, is on slicks. Right, first push lap, come on. Brake on the inside, go in like a V, going in quite deep. Um, and you want to get on power as quickly as possible, of course. Also here, braking offline. Doing a sort of similar style with the V. You can see the car is quite loose. The weight is like shifting from left to right um, because we've also set the end of roll bars to be quite soft but for for wet conditions and the roll bars on low is is good the car is quite tricky to drive you can see it on the onboard This is the thing, the car in front, you say quick driver, but I think he's on slicks and you can see it because I can brake a lot later and carry a lot more speed for these conditions because his tires are probably quite cold. So at this point the wet tire is faster, but it can change of course quite quickly and we will probably see that in this session. Just sending it down the inside. Uh, it's so difficult to drive. A 39.1 fast slap of this session for me. gets a blue flag uh, we can dive on the inside Really difficult to drive here. You can see the weight shifting. <laughs> Big snap of oversteer here. And there's a car coming. Yeah, he's on slicks, I know that. I spoke to him after qualifying. So now, now the transition point is happening. So they've got warm slicks and they are going quite a bit faster right now so we have to box obviously so we are going to box right now so we are going to make the transition from wet to slicks that was pretty much quality one um, so now we're going again So you can see on the dash, dry tire, also putting a bit more pressure on the front. I meant brake bias on the front. 
a lovely snap of oversteer. And we got some traffic here, so we're just keeping it on the right side. and weaving but I must say I'm not doing it correctly right now I have to be way more aggressive because now you just don't get the temperature in the tires and that's what I like about doing commentary I can see my mistakes So I'm trying to put some load on the front tires by by weaving. Heading in a second warm up lap. can go for a push lap but we're still building it up slowly because right now the peak will not be there it's not gonna be on the third lap because the tires are just not warm enough and yeah I'm breaking on the line on the wet line and yeah I'm just overshooting it Just doing some lawn mowing. So I just decided to overshoot it because, well, if I tried to brake harder, then I would have had a lockup because we don't have ABS um, and the tire locks up, and basically you're, you destroy your tire. So. I just decided to release the brake and then go off. And a code red. Again, someone in the gravel. So we haven't really set any good time. But yeah, we still have some time left and the track is only getting better, so it's not that big of a problem. And also my tires are quite good because I did not use them in, in these sessions. Just a really short break. Icon Amsterdam has a huge sale going on. It's the clothing brand I wear. And with my code Derek, you get an additional 20% off. So I've got them linked in the description. If you want to check it out, you can do so. Because of their support, I can continue racing. Our target time is about 1.32. And now we're at 1.39, so seven seconds off. Lovely. But yeah, the track's only getting better. So uh, for now, these sessions are really important. So now we're just gonna overtake these guys and then send it. I still have to break a bit more. I see that, it's just, I don't know why I'm not doing that. So now we're just following the car in front, but not get too close, because I want to have a gap on my quality lap. 
Oh, we're still going for another round of blood, yeah. There's a quick guy in, uh, in the back of me. So now I'm giving him space to let him by. And here's the dry line on the inside. Which makes it very difficult. The teammate of the car in front, he's also coming. The driver in the back of me is also a really quick driver. It's uh, Shields Machers. And he's a Audi factory driver. <laughs> Going a bit wide. <laughs> right, now I can go for a push lap. I know I have a quick driver in front, which always helps. So now we have to push, come on. Break on the inside there. Going in quite deep. This exit is quite a bit better. That's the first push lap done. A 33.9, not really fast enough. But now we have to push, come on. That was a better T1. Now you can see green on my delta. And this line is also better than uh, before. So I'm gaining quite a bit of time back from uh, last lap. lap was quite decent a good improvement on the other lap and it's a 3309 <laughs> sending it
big snap of overs there. And also alarm low fuel, so we got a couple of more laps to go. I overshoot it a bit. It's gonna be a 32.9, not an improvement. <laughs> Sending it. So we have one more lap to go. We have to push. Now I'm just going full attack. Yeah, I braked like 10 meters later, now it's pretty much gone. So this lap is pretty much gone and we have to return to the box. So I only used one set of new slacks, and which means I've got one fresh set for the race. Which could be an advantage, but now for the qualifying, I could have extracted a bit more if I had one extra set. Because now you can see I drove like seven laps on one tire or eight laps, and then the peak is pretty much gone. And also, my tire pressures are like crazy high right now. That was quite a hectic qualifying and I really enjoyed it. I think we qualified P8 and P6 from the 30 drivers or so, but I could have expected a bit more. I hope you enjoy that and please let me know what you think. If I should do this more, um, I invested in quite some gear to do these commentaries and also to do these streams. So please let me know what you think and uh, yeah, what you want to see uh, next. I think it's also quite interesting for me that I can learn for myself by seeing this footage and by being a bit more critical, um, I can learn some things. So I hope you enjoy that. Uh, please leave a like, subscribe and comment what you think. See you in the next one.